Hey guys, how's it going? I saw something when I'm scouring Reddit the other night that asked if you can make it so your default EQ on Logic Pro is set to Fab Filter Pro Q4 now or some other EQ. And the overwhelming response was no. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's absolutely right. You can't, unfortunately. Uh, but you can do something else, which I think is actually infinitely more helpful. And it's just one little shortcut that you have to set up. Let's check it out. So here's the issue. You want to go on this bass track and you want to be able to click this, the EQ window and bring up another EQ of your choice. Well, you can't, that's always going to be that one. But what you can do is you can assign a key command so that it just brings up a specific chain or the next chain or another chain. And I'll show you how to do it. So if you have a plugin instantiated here, this, you need this, you can't do it on a blank channel. You have to have something instantiated. So you click the EQ wanting Pro EQ to come up. It's not going to, it's the channel EQ. But then you press shift and the square bracket to the right. And oh, ho, ho, I can bring up my console EQ. Or if I press it again, I can bring up the next thing in line, which is my infinity EQ. Or I can bring up the next thing in line, which is my Neve EQ. You can do this for anything you want, and you can make it so that it's your next channel strip setting. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Super simple, just in your key commands. So let's go up to the top to Logic Pro, key commands, edit assignments, and I've already typed it in next channel. It's this one, next channel strip setting of focused track, I guess it's going to say. Um, and it's just shift and square bracket. So it's like close square bracket. And what I've done here is I've made it so that in my channel strip settings, I've got an underscore. And that means that my default is going to come up first because it does it in the hierarchy of the, the list of your channel strip settings. So by just having this off, for example, let's bring in an EQ. I want that to be pro Q. So the thing that you do is you save a channel strip setting with whatever you want on first so that when you press shift and square bracket close, it brings up the thing that you want. Now let's just see how we can do this. So let's say we want our first one to be, okay, let's go to, maybe we want it to be the pull tech because that's kind of cool, isn't it? So let's go to our pull tech and we want this to be the EQ that we can just bring up super easily. Okay. So let's go into our channel strip settings. Now we need it to be first. We need it to be something other than underscore default. Okay. So let's call it save channel strip setting as underscore underscore default, whatever. Can't spell default. Brilliant. What an idiot. Default. Let's get a save. Right. So now if I have no plugin there, let's just bring up our EQ. That's one click. And then let's press the shift and close square bracket it brings up our pull tech. It's not quite what was asked, admittedly, but that's impossible. So let's move past that. We can't bring up Pro Q4 or any EQ when we click that, that window. But it's just one click on that window and then one key command. It's more or less the same thing. It's not more or less the same thing. It's one extra step. It's a tiny extra step extra to make that happen. So Although you can't bring up your own EQ in the default EQ setting, you can make that click as if you were able to, and then just press one key command and you can bring up your strip, whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be an EQ, if you want it to be a compressor, if you want it to be whatever it is, as long as you've got a plugin on that channel strip, press shift and close square brackets and you can bring up the next thing. We can do it again, go to our next one and it's going to be BX console SSL. Press the next one. It's going to be an affinity EQ. Press the next one. It's going to be console N. And we can do open square brackets as well to go back. So let's press shift and open square bracket. It's going to go back one to the infinity EQ. Then press it again. It's going to go back to that SSL. Press it again. It's going to go back to the pull tech. I think that's kind of a cool trick. And it's not exactly what we wanted, but it's even better than we wanted, in my opinion. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you again soon. Take care.